Rahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we are going to learn how to create an attractive PowerPoint presentation using an office suit for androids. For this office suit installation, if you don't have it your Android, go to your Play Store and search for office suit here in this list of office suits we mostly go for WPS or office suit from Microsoft so from Microsoft I have installed this suit software at my mobile open this app and here at first screen of this app you can see at the bottom we have two options home and action tabs inside these two tabs we have the plus icon over here click on it with this we have three options and we will go for documents as we are going to create new presentation as we click at the document you can see that we get word excel and powerpoint over here means we can create word document excel worksheet and powerpoint presentation so currently we are going with powerpoint presentation for this you can choose pictures to create your presentation or you can go with blank presentation or create from template you can go with create template or just go with blank presentation with this blank presentation you can use different options present here to create an attractive presentation for starting here screen says you double tap to add the title of your presentation double tap it and add your title this may be your subject then you can give the option you can type your presentation topic just as flow chart or charting and as it is from unit 4 you can also mention it unit number 4 so in this way you have given your title and you can apply different font options also on this text first select that text and then apply the font here at bottom you can see that you have the font options bold italic underline and text color clear so using these options you can create an attractive presentation I have already created two slides of presentation I'm going there simply go back and here it is my presentation and you can see that this is only for two slides click any slide to edit some more text or just start your verbal presentation here but we will go at the second slide and here you can see that at second slide we have the flowchart symbols and for adding the flowchart symbol you can search internet for the related picture and you can download that picture and you can add over here for that purpose go to your browser and search your required keywords as i have already searched keyword symbol flowchart symbols 
then select the image you want okay this is colorful and here's the basic symbols so we are going to download this image image is downloading downloaded now then here is another related image which explains the basic flowchart we are also downloading it you can rename the images as the images are by default with same name and download it so we have downloaded our required images now go to your presentation and here you can add your image that you have just searched out click this is your first image which explains the basic flowchart symbols with their name and their definitions so this is added over here you can resize the images just by tapping on your image you can resize them So in this way your image is resized and inserted. Then how to add new slide? Click at this first icon present over here with this plus symbol at bottom. Under the comments you can see that this is your third slide over here. Double tap on it and add the topic that is flowchart. example flowchart example okay now again we are going to insert the image in the same way So in this way you can insert different images and you can type your text with the images you can apply different transitions how you will apply transitions just click at this up arrow present at the bottom with here we have this home click on home you will get all the tabs which we have in PowerPoint presentation software and you can use these tabs as they have their functions so in this way when your presentation is complete you can check it for its presentation in full screen view this is your powerpoint slideshow for the presentation if you need any correction you can go for it otherwise your work is done with presentation clear now as you can see that at the top we have the general saved it means by default your presentation is saved you just don't need to save explicitly it is automatically saved as you edit your presentation as you started your presentation your presentation is just saved and at last you can rename it and click don't forget to click at this tick at the top left corner so in this way this is your all presentation that you have created 
by using the office suit clear and after creating this presentation you can use any screen costing recording softwares it may be x recorder or screen costomatic to verbally explain your presentation then your presentation will be in video form otherwise up till now your presentation is in the form of powerpoint slides clear and this presentation you can share with your teacher hopefully you all understood if not you can ask me i am here to help you thank you